Now for problem E. For this problem, um, we are given um, an array. All of its elements is from one to n, and we have to add uh, and we have to add um, integer x, which is from one to n, k times exactly. Okay, so and and the thing here is after our addition, we should try to minimize the um, the number of subarrays that are balindrome. Okay, so that's the question. Let's try to see what will happen in this one. One, three, three, and four. And we want to add only one element. What will happen if I added one? It's safe. Okay, what if I added um, two? It's safe. But what if I added three? Not safe, right? Okay. Why? Because it will generate a balindrome, a new balindrome solution. So just look in, in these problems, try to try to solve it by yourself like that. Um also notice something. There is no two. What does this mean? It means that if I made it here too, I'm I'm trying to um uh, make the the chances of finding balindrome that is connecting this part with this part, I'm trying to minimize this these chances, right? And of course, if there are two elements that doesn't exist, for example, any other elements that doesn't exist, the chances become possible, impossible to connect. Because in here, if I added four, okay, they will continue to be connected. But if I added anything else, like something doesn't exist here or here, there will be two X. So of course, two X, can't be symmetric with anything here, with anything here, even if I just say for three and any other things. Okay, so just keep this in mind. Let's continue. Okay, um, let's try to um, like just now put this in mind, which is if the number doesn't exist here, we may use it. Okay. Now, what about a, a case like that? For a case that every number uh, appeared before is distinct. What does this mean? Let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, and we are required to add anything. In this case, exactly, we literally can just add it as it is. Just one, two, three, and of course, k is will not exceed n, so it's 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 okay to continue four, five, and six. Why? You can't make any balindrome if you just added this. Only when there are like some duplicates, now things start to be a bit hard. But without that, it's okay to just add elements like that. Um, wait, let me try to see another thing. Let's try to see what uh, what problems can duplicate me and make. One, three, two, three. Um, here you may say, okay, I'll start with four because it doesn't exist and we'll try, we'll try to minimize the chances. Okay, that's good. Continue. Here, um, I'm just adding the first three elements that appeared. So I will be saying, oh wait, it's, I'm trying to make it, uh, um, instead let's let this one be one. Okay. Um, now I'll continue. I'm just add them like that as, as the way we did the one that doesn't have any duplicates. So it would be one, three and two, right? What will happen in this case? You with the balindrome. Okay. But how can we deal with this problem? For this, for this thing, you said like one, three, two. You didn't add one again. Well, why? Why? Because you took only the first occurrence, right? But as you see, when you take the first occurrence, maybe one will occur again in the end and then generate a balindrome for you. So instead of knowing, uh, their order by their first appearance, no, make it by their last appearance. So, in, in this case, it will be three, two, one. Last appearance is here, last appearance is here, last appearance is here. Now, just, just loop again three, two, one. Now, it's impossible to have any, um, any like uh, palindromes like that in this way. Okay. 
So yeah, literally this is the solution for this problem. It was a bit simple. But let me see, uh, let me show you the code for this problem. So for this problem, I just made two arrays not exist, like things that doesn't exist and things that exist already. I made a counter. Uh, my counter is not a real counter. It's just saying exist or no, okay? So if it doesn't exist, I'm just adding it. Else, uh, yeah, I, I made this, but I didn't use it <laughs> anyway. Uh, so I'm just made an array exist, like the elements that exist already. Uh, and I made this to know that I put it already or no, so I avoid to add it again in our exist. And then I'm looping through the array in the reverse and then reverse it again. Why? To just pick the last occurrence of, of each one and then adding them by order. So you may say, okay, what? Well, let's have a look. Uh, three uh, or no? Yeah, two and then three and then one again. We want only these two, these three, right? Which is it should look like that in the end. Let's see what will happen when I loop in reverse. When I loop in reverse, it will add this one and it will say put one, which means I not take one again because of this. Then um, I'm adding three because it doesn't exist before. I'm adding two, it doesn't exist before. And then I'm reversing because I reversed it already. So it would be two, three, one. So yeah, that's why I made this. It would just pick the last one. Anyway, so after I pick the last one, um, I made this condition, which means if I don't have anything exist, I'm just adding, um, like if everything exists, I'm just adding it normally uh, using the exist, uh, just adding everything. And if not, I'm can I think like I made some useless things because I just like I can just do something like that. But I just uh, made like if there are some things that doesn't exist, I just um, check if k uh, is less than this, so I can only add the not exist, which will guarantee, of course, that there will not be any uh, balance loops. Uh, but after this, if they didn't do that, so I'm I just add it add them to my answer, decrease their length from k. And then uh, pick the first k values, of course, k after the subtraction uh, from the exist to the answer, and then just print the answer. So that's the solution for this problem. I couldn't solve f in the contest because time ended. I didn't read it really, but so that may because of this, I, I may download. I may I may upload the uh, a solution for f uh, maybe tomorrow or lately today. Okay, that's it for problem E.